Hey guys, it's Mark from GLD. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done a video. I thought today I would jump in and explain the various types of materials and plating and so forth that goes into making fine pieces of jewelry. Essentially what I wanna do is destroy all of these misconceptions and really educate you about purchasing jewelry and what to look for and how not to get scammed. And I'm going to do that in a way that's not sensationalizing it. So I'm not going to have pictures of me with a sandblaster and uh, screaming and so forth. I mean, that's, you know, obviously when people are doing that, they're trying to get you to buy something or they're trying to get views, right, for their channel. Look. I would like you to buy from GLD if you're going to make a purchase, but if you don't, I certainly want you not to get ripped off. So what we have here today are three pieces of GLD jewelry. So you've got the Jesus piece. The first one here, it's a plated piece. The second piece is vermeil, and I'm gonna teach you about all these terms. And the third piece is actually solid gold. That's a 10 karat uh, piece of gold. It's actually not solid gold. We'll explain that later. So first of all, on this particular piece that's plated. So what's it mean to have a plated piece of jewelry? So this item is actually underneath the material, underneath this piece can be comprised of, of various metal alloys, stainless steel or even silver. And then over it is plated. You can think of it almost like it's sprayed on, right? Or coated on, there is real gold. So when people say things are fake, it's in truth, that's not really accurate because the outside plating is actually, in our case, real gold. Now what you have to look out for on plated pieces is that oftentimes many companies are not using real gold and therefore you will see the color look like could be very orange, something you know, it just doesn't look natural, but you can see here, the reason why this looks like this, the solid piece of gold, is because the outside covering, coating, is actually real gold. And therefore, that's going to look just like this piece. Let's talk about Vermeil. So Vermeil is solid 925 silver, coated with three microns of 18 karat gold. Now, you can see again, this piece looks identical to the last piece I showed. You'll notice that if you see a stamp 925, that may mean that it's Vermeil. And what do I mean by that? First of all, this 925 stamp refers to the underlying silver that's underneath the gold. Okay, so it's 925 silver is underneath this gold. Now, I tell you that it could be Vermeil, and in our case it always is, but what you have happening is many people that are out there selling Vermeil, they're scamming you. They're, they're saying it's Vermeil, they're stamping a 925 on some piece of junk and telling you that you're buying Vermeil. I see price points uh, out there that it's just impossible for people to be purchasing real silver, real gold, and offering the prices they do. When you buy from GLD, we always give you a lifetime guarantee and we warrant that what we're selling you is in fact what we say it is. So if you were to rip this apart, you would see that it's solid silver underneath and it has this gold coating of three microns. Again, important because somebody could put on two microns or one micron and stamp at 925 and it's not really a Vermeil piece. And then finally, I want to educate you a little bit about gold pieces because you know there's different carats and what's that mean so you you've heard of probably 10 carat 14 carat 18 carat etc so basically a carat of of gold is 1 24th the portion of it being solid gold so if you think about something that's 24 carat it means that it's actually completely pure gold because 24 divided by 24, right, is one. So it's 100% pure gold. So importantly, when you look at, for example, a 10 karat piece, 14 karat gold, these pieces are mixed with other metal alloys because 
the metal would be too brittle if it's just 24 karat pure pure gold It'd be very soft right so for example a 14 karat piece of gold will be mixed with silver and copper so that gives it durability and and strength so it's a mixture of materials it's not completely pure solid gold okay that's also important to note and you'll notice on on a on a solid gold piece that you'll have a stamp that'll show you what type of gold it is. So this piece is a 10 karat gold uh, piece of jewelry. So you'll, you'll have it stamped and always solid gold pieces are stamped. If a solid gold piece does not have a stamp, that means you've got some sort of counterfeit uh, piece, piece of junk. So guys, you can see the craftsmanship that, that we offer. These pieces um, are looking identical this solid gold piece has real real diamonds in it. You can see this Vermeer piece uh, has CZ stones, as does uh, the plated piece of jewelry. And yet, they all look the same, and there's no way for a person to say, oh, this is that, or this is the other thing. Does it matter which one you buy? It actually doesn't, okay? What's important to you, in my opinion, is that you get the look that you want. So you'd be surprised how many athletes and artists buy from GLD real pieces of jewelry, meaning solid gold pieces with, with real diamonds, but they mix it and they also buy our plated pieces or our Vermeer pieces because they're a lot less expensive. So when you see somebody out there, you think, oh, that must be, you know, that guy's worth $100 million. They must buy all real jewelry, all solid gold. But in fact, they oftentimes mix it because look, there's a particular look someone wants to have and you don't necessarily need to spend a million dollars to get that look. So buy whichever makes you happy, right? So if you get a nice look and you have a piece of jewelry with this, this plated piece, it's fine. It looks very nice. You can see the colors, you know, it, it's going to look fine. You're out, you're, you know, in the public, you're gonna, nobody's gonna like say, wow, that looks like a piece of junk on you. It, it, we get we make it we make it so that like whatever you're buying you're going to look good in that piece of jewelry so that's a little bit of an education about these different types of materials and plating and so forth and now what i want to do i'm actually going to weigh them because this is another important component a lot of times you buy jewelry from you know some other website i don't know where you know you're going to get your piece only to find out that it's hollow now the back might not look hollow but like some of the pieces actually have meshes on them okay so you can see it's hollow but it, it might not be that but it'll be like a little plate on the back here and the actual internal um you know in this area is is actually hollow so it's super super light we never do that we always make sure that the pieces are solid we orchestrate things so that the Vermeer, the Vermeer is going to weigh very close. I don't know what they weigh yet. We're gonna find out in a second. So the Vermeer is going to weigh very close to what the solid gold piece will weigh, while the, uh, while the plated piece of jewelry will tend to be a little bit lighter just because of the underlying um, material that, that is utilized. So let's take a look and let's go ahead and weigh these right now. So the first piece I'm going to weigh is actually 10 karat piece, sol the solid gold piece, right? Now remember, 10 karat means that the piece is actually 41% gold. Okay, so it's 41% gold. How did I know that? I take 10 and I divide it by 24. Let's put them on there. Okay, so you can see here, the solid gold piece is weighing in at 18 grams, right? Fine. Let's now go to the Vermeer piece. You see the stamp, 925. Let's put that down. Okay, so the Vermeer piece is also weighing in at 18 grams. So again, I told you earlier, guys, these are going to weigh pretty closely, and in fact, they did. And finally, 
This is the plated piece of jewelry. Let's go ahead and put him down. Okay, so the plated piece somewhere right in 15, 16. So we're getting back and forth there. But so you can see that is a little bit lighter. Now to your perception, if you had these two, you know, sorry, these three pieces in your hand and you were testing them against each other, you really can't notice, um, you know, two, two grams to the, to the touch. Okay guys, so now that you know a little bit about the materials and how gold pieces are made and what the different components are and so forth, comment below, let us know which would you buy now, now that you know what the whole deal is, right? From plated to vermeil to solid gold, uh, let us know which one you'd buy. And also if you made it this far, I'm gonna give you a discount code right now, secret30, secret30. Head over to the website, 30% off anything you want on the site. Thanks for listening and uh, I'll be back. Also in the comments, maybe throw some other topics in that you might wanna hear me talk about. Take care.